Okay, I'm testing the FZ1000 in a couple of ways here, and I'm also testing the boom mic, which I've also done a review on. I'll put the information in the lower third, because I'm about, I would say, seven feet away from the camera. And then I've got the camera zoomed in. So what I'm trying to do is get a shallower depth of field behind me, because I'm zoomed in, and so that would then give you a shallow depth of field behind and I'm at f4 which is the widest open aperture that you can get when you're zoomed in like this with the lens so I'm doing everything possible to get a shallow depth of field and I'm shooting in 4k and the other thing that I'm also testing is will it hold focus on my face is it holding a nice solid focus on my face I've had a little bit of problem with some of the clips that I've shot at some of the events where for no apparent reason it will hunt on focus. It'll, it'll focus in on whatever it is I'm, I'm shooting, and then it'll hold the focus for a period of time, several seconds or whatever, and then it'll just quickly just kind of drop out of focus and go back in for no apparent reason, and it does this randomly, not all the time. So that's kind of interesting activity, if you will. It's very important for me in this type of a situation that the camera hold focus the whole time and that it not hunt because especially if I'm doing a one camera shoot and I don't have the ability to cut to the other camera and post because it might hold focus and this one might drift a little bit. If I'm doing a one camera shoot I really don't have that option and then I have to cut the b-roll and do all kinds of things to hide the fact that it drifted focus. So I just assume the camera not drift in and out of focus. So let's see what this looks like from a standpoint of bokeh or the out of focus area behind me and let's see what it looks like as far as focus drift and let's see how well the audio picks up even though like I say I'm about seven feet away from that uh, that mic that's on top and it's kind of like a semi shotgun pattern it's not a real tight shotgun pattern on that mic but it is a shotgun mic so it's gonna be interesting to see how well that performs as well on purpose, I'm speaking up a little bit, like I was speaking to a room full of kids or something. So I'm, I'm not speaking in a low voice. I'll speak in a lower voice now. This is a significantly lower voice. So let's see what happens with this test. Again, this is the Lumix, Panasonic Lumix FZ1000. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and comment on this video if you have questions, and of course follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.